Okay, it's pretty late, and uh, I've been messing with uh, a ton of Derby Owners Club main units here in my garage. Uh, so, you know, the best companies have started in the garages, for example, Apple. Anyway, so I'm going to show you something extremely rare and unique. It's 3.30 in the morning. I've been working pretty well on a Friday night. I want to show you what's going on here. Let's see if we can get some light. Check this out. That EPRB, folks, that's the most rare version of this game, Sega Derby Owners Club, on the planet. And I have a ROM-based unit that is just ridiculously clean. It's been sitting like this for two years. It was clean when I got it. It's still clean now. It's just nuts. And so this is straight out of Japan. Uh, you know, it's got the salt air, and it just, this thing is immaculate. And I don't know what it is, but this thing just doesn't age. So, as you can tell, I have a test mode going on. All you have to do to get test mode is just hook up one Naomi 1 over to your main unit. Make sure your satellite cables are connected. Okay. And then make sure they're connected here as well and it's dark to light and light to dark is the way you hook them up. That'll give you a test mode that's going on. And uh, revision B, revision C, revision D, and then there, I think there was a uh, Sega Derby Owners Club 2010. But uh, this one, no one in the US has actually really been playing it very often. It came in as a wild card. It allows you to create what are called double circle horses and uh, that's basically where you breed, breed the horses down to where they're all X's and then they come up double circles. So kind of a cool little feature made it here in the US. And that's what started people selling cards on eBay. Anyway, I thought I would share it with you and uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, this is an original and you only read about them or hear about them. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, I'm enjoying it as well. Talk to you later.